Hello everyone, in this lecture I'm going to show to you how to derive the mean, the variance, and the moment generating function for a Poisson distribution. Poisson distribution is a discrete distribution with its probability mass function shown here. Probability of x equals to x given the parameter lambda is equal to e raised to negative lambda, lambda raised to x over x factorial, where this probability mass function is defined from x equals 0 to infinity. So let us have the mean. Mean, this is equal to uh, expectation of x. And expectation of x is equal to summation of x times the probability mass function. So I can copy this probability mass function into here. Then x equals to 0 to infinity. So we have x equals to 0 to infinity. So please, please take note that if x equals 0, then this whole term is equal to 0. So what we're left with is x equals 1 to infinity. So to make it clear, I want to make to put here 0 irrestrictive lambda, then lambda raised to 0 over 0 factorial. So then we're left with summation of x times e raised to negative lambda, lambda raised to x over x factorial. This is x equals to 1 until infinity. So we can move out 0. Now we, we are left with this x equals to 1 to infinity. Now we can simplify this whole term here using the Taylor series. e raised to y, summation of y raised to i over i factorial from i equals 0 to infinity. This is the Taylor series formula. But I cannot just transform it now because we still have the variable x here. So I can transform it into another form by taking consideration that x factorial by definition is equal to x times x minus 1 times x minus 2 uh, etc until 1. And we know that these terms here are all equal to x minus 1 factorial. So we can take x factorial is equal to x times x minus 1 factorial. Uh, if I put this one in here, then x will cancel and the remaining here will become x minus 1 factorial. But the resulting term will still be not similar to this because I still have this x. So we can make this x to x minus 1 by factoring out lambda raised to x. Lambda raised to x equals to lambda times lambda raised to x minus 1. This is equal because x, I will say x minus 1 plus 1 is equal to x. So we can now make this uh, substitu substitution for this uh, derived term. So we have mean is equal to summation of x times e raised to negative lambda. So this one, x times e raised to negative lambda. Then lambda raised to x, I want to use this one. So we have lambda times lambda raised to x minus 1 over, we have x factorial here, and we can use this term here, x times x minus 1 factorial. So we can cancel out x, and now, this is x equals 1 to infinity. Then we can move out the constants from the summation. So e raised to negative lambda. These are, uh, this doesn't contain uh, x, x variables. So we can move out from the summation. Then uh, lambda raised to x minus 1 over x minus 1 factorial and this is um, this is x equals 1 to infinity. Now this is similar to here. To make it clearer, we're making the transformation. So let's say let x minus 1 is equal to i and uh, say the lambda here let us make it equal to y. Then the transformation mean 
is equal to lambda raised to e raised to negative lambda, which are the constants. Then summation of this lambda is y and raised to x minus 1, which is i, over this x minus 1 factorial is equal to i, i factorial. And when x equals 1, this is 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. So we have i equals 0 to infinity. So this is equal to, so this is similar now. So we have lambda e raised to negative lambda. So this is e raised to y. So we have e raised to y. But y is equal to lambda. So we can bring back the lambda, negative lambda, e raised to lambda. Then lambda plus negative lambda is zero. So we have lambda. So we have now the mean, which is equal to the parameter lambda. We're ready now for the derivation of our variance. We know the formula for variance. This is variance, we say, this is equal to expectation of d square of x minus expectation of x. But we have another form, which is expectation of x squared. This is square of expectation of x. But I want to use the, form, the variance formula with the term expectation of x times x minus 1. But how? If we distribute x to x minus 1, we have expectation of um, x squared minus x. And this is equal to expectation of x squared minus expectation of x. Then we can have expectation of x squared is equal to expectation of x times x minus 1 plus expectation of x. Now, um, we can substitute expectation of x squared here to here. So we have variance is equal to we're going to use the expectation of x squared using this one. So we have expectation of x times x minus 1 plus expectation of x, then minus this one, the square of expectation of x. Now, uh, what is expectation of x? Anyway, after deriving this expectation of x times x minus 1, we know already the expectation of x, which is lambda, and then the square of expectation of x is equal to lambda squared. So by deriving this one, we can then easily derive the variance. So this one, by definition, is summation of x times x minus 1 times the probability mass function, which is uh, this one. So I can copy this probability mass function into here. Let us move out everything. So this is uh, e raised to negative lambda, lambda raised to x over x factorial. This is x equals to 0 to infinity. Now we can take note that if x equals 0, this whole term will become 0 as similar to what we have done for the mean. But if x equals 1, this one, this term here also will become 0 because 1 minus 1 equals 0. So what we're left with is x equals to 0 to infinity. So we can just uh, change it to 2. And there's no problem with that. Now, um, similar to mean, we want to, um, let's remove this one. We, we want to simplify this whole term here by using the Taylor series formula which is equal to e raised to y, or say y raised to i over i factorial, i equals 0 to infinity. But we have here x and x minus 1. So we can use the same methods that we use for the mean. We have x factorial. This is equal to x times uh, x minus 1 times x minus 2 times uh, x minus 3 etc. until 1. 
but we take note uh, this x minus 2 times x minus 3 until 1 is equal to x minus 2 factorial. So we have x factorial is equal to x times x minus 1 times x minus 2. And now this is, oh yeah, no, this is x minus 2 factorial. So if we substitute this x factorial here, this whole term here, into this one, we can eliminate x and x minus 1 by cancellation and we're left with x minus 2 factorial. But we want this x to become x minus 2 by um, factoring out lambda raised to x into lambda uh, raised to 2 times lambda x minus 2. This is same. These are similar because x minus 2 plus 2 is equal to x. So we can now use them, expectation of x times x minus 1 is equal to summation of, then we have x times x minus 1, then e raised to negative lambda, and then lambda raised to x, we have lambda squared, we're going to use this term here, lambda raised to x minus 2, then we have the x factorial, which we're going to use uh, this term here instead of x factorial. We had x times x minus 1, x minus 2 factorial. Okay, so this x and x minus 1 are cancelled. And we have here i equals to 2. No, this is x. x equals to 2 to infinity, so we have x plus 2, 2 to infinity. Then we can move out the constants here. We have lambda squared e raised to negative lambda. Then this is summation of lambda raised to x minus 2 over x minus 2. Factorial, this is x equals 2 to infinity. So we can have similar to that. Then we're gonna do again the transformation similar to what we have done for the mean let x minus 2 is equal to this i and lambda equal to y okay so so now we have expect this is equal to i'll say expectation of x times x minus 1 This is equal to lambda squared e raised to negative lambda, then summation of uh, lambda raised to x minus 2 is y raised to i from here, then over x minus 2 factorial is i factorial. Then when x equals 2, this is 2 minus 2 equals 0, so we have i equals 0, and this is infinity. And from the Taylor series, we know that this one, this one, is equal to this one. So we can substitute it here. This is equal to lambda raised to squared, lambda raised to 2, e raised to negative lambda, and then we have e raised to y. And since we know that y is equal to lambda, so we have lambda squared, e negative lambda, or e raised to lambda. And if lambda, this one lambda plus negative lambda is equal to zero, so we have here one, then we can have lambda squared times one is lambda squared. Now, this is not yet the variance because it's just the expectation of x times x minus one. But we have the formula, this one, so we can just rewrite it here. And variance. This is equal to uh, expectation of x times uh, x minus 1 plus expectation of x minus the square of expectation of x, okay, which is equal to this one. So this one, variance. And we can now substitute. This is equal to 
lambda squared and expectation of x is our mean that we have derived before which is expectation of x plus the lambda the parameter lambda we have here lambda minus the square of lambda so we have lambda squared now this lambda squared minus lambda squared equals zero so our variance is also equal to lambda we're now ready for our derivation for our moment generating function we know the formula for the moment generating function let us have uh, m sub x of t is equal to expectation e raised to t x so we know that this is equal to summation of e raised to t x times the probability mass function which is this one so we have e raised to negative lambda lambda raised to x over x factorial this is x, x equals to zero to infinity so we can move out the constant from the summation we have e raised to negative lambda then we have here summation and collect terms with a powers of x these are lambda and e raised to t so we can have for our numerator lambda and e raised to t and these are powers of x and then we have a x factorial in the denominator so this is x equals to zero to infinity so we can simplify the summation using again the taylor series formula so let us remember the taylor series formula e raised to y is equal to summation of y raised to i over i factorial this is i equals to zero to infinity so we can have our um, moment generating function this is let us have the constant it is to negative lambda and this one is similar to this one if we take lambda times e raised to t as y and x as i so we have e raised to the y here is lambda times e raised to t so we have lambda e raised to t and this is equal to e we can add these two terms here we have negative lambda uh, plus lambda e raised to t we can factor out here with lambda and we can interchange so our result here is e raised to we can factor it with lambda and then let us put the positive side first then minus one so we have here our moment generating function for our poisson distribution